It has to be before death comes to you. If a death comes comes to you and you say no, God, I repent, that is not accepted. But if you before you die and you know you say no, what I regret what I have done. You know I really regret. I didn't know because why I have done it based upon ignorance. I didn't know that it was forbidden. I didn't know that it was injustice. I didn't know that it was wrong. I was an atheist. I was this. I was that. So God is the most merciful. So what God does? God is just for the day of resurrection. God will give those uh, victims what they want to make them pleased and happy with. You understand? Because to show them that okay, this man he made uh, what they call it. He repented. You people, I'm gonna make you please because why you are a victim. You understand? So Prophet Allah mentioned that in the Quran, likewise Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But I want to take you a step back. You just agreed with me that justice to give everyone what he deserves. So DGs deserve to be killed for someone else's sin. No, no, DGs deserve to be killed. For someone's sin? No. But you, so it's not justice then? No, no, hold on. DGs deserve to be killed? Yeah. No. So why was he killed? We don't, what, what? Wait, 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 wait. According to you, the finishing which you agreed with me, justice to give everyone what he deserves. Yeah. But you, according to the Bible, Jesus was killed for people's sins. Did he deserve no, it? No, because he no. never committed sin. No, no, hold on. So exactly. So, foods. did Jesus deserve to die? No, he didn't. So why he died? Why did he die? Yeah. Exactly. According he didn't to deserve you. it. So that's injustice. Huh? Injustice. Injustice. Yeah, yeah. injustice so was God, done. So God's oppressor. Injustice. No, no. Injustice was done to Jesus by the authorities, obviously. No. Jesus, he said, according to Paul, Jesus is the one who became... No, no. Who, kill, who killed Jesus? No, no, no. Jesus came for a mission. What is it according to no, you? Who, who killed Jesus? We'll come to... The, the, uh, no, no, no. We'll come, the, the, we'll come to that. The we'll Jews that. and the... So, you say, God oh, killed oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah. You oh, say, I would say... Let's yeah, yeah, understand. Yeah. Very, yeah. Well, you know, brothers, yeah, let me just clarify something. We know when I'm, I'm speaking, if, if someone's Sorry. interrupting and that, uh, that make me forget. Yeah, so, let us focus. That's, that's, I like to focus. So, let us take a step back. According to the Bible, Jesus came to die for people's sins. So from his plan to allow the people to kill him. Because his his plan is to die for people's sins. But you just told me justice. Yeah, but why do you why do you keep me. saying die for people's sins? I say, did Jesus deserve to die? No. For people's sins. But it, so why, why do you why do you put the word sins in there? For sins in there. That's Je what he says. Jesus that he loved the worst, worst, uh, that's what you believe. Because in. do you do you think death is a punishment for sin? Or do you think there's a connection between sin and death? Not all the time. Not all the if time. If someone dies, doesn't mean he's a sinner. Or he's an evil man. No, Moses died. Was yeah. he an evil man? He did sin, yeah. Was he an evil man? Evil man. Not an evil man. Evil. Okay. John, being, John, no, John Baptist died. Was he an evil man? Being an, being an evil man is different from sinning. Isn't yeah, it? but a sinner, because what that's a Christian don't understand. A sinner so, means someone who always do sin. But if someone, someone stole something, doesn't mean it's thief. Steve is someone who does it all the time. Consistency, but, you know? but no, what we're missing, so as, no, as what, we, what we are missing, yeah. is the is often the definition of things. You said Jesus came to die for sin. No, I don't believe that. According to you, no, he came no, to die for no, sin. No, but you you said that. You don't believe that. According but you to you, that. yeah. I would say Jesus didn't deserve to die, but he did die. Why? Why? Yeah. Exactly. That's another question. Which then, is the answer right? for it? The answer for that yeah. is. <laughs> no, I told you already. No, please no, don't no. Step. no, he didn't just die for sin. Jesus died. I want the answer, which is? Huh? He died. Why he died? To establish that he would conquer sin and death. Like he did again. So death was overcome by Jesus. No, what did he so die? I'm, he, no, he I'm died saying, for people's sins. He came so to? we can, uh, from this, I would say Jesus has the victory or the power even over death. So, Let's go death, the point. so that, that, that means for us that death is not the, the end of things. There is life after that. You see? So, why that's what, in, in that sense, Jesus gives us hope because he, why he died, to show that he is more powerful than death itself. No, he died. Okay. He's not more powerful. Huh? He died, according to you. And he rose again. Not by himself. He had to. He had to seek someone else. Okay. He had, hey, man, I was talking. You are saying no. that Jesus, because I don't want to go off the point, I'm going to take you back. But did you know that according to the Bible, the one that brought Jesus, the one that brought Jesus back to life, it was the Father, not mm. Jesus himself. Exactly. Yeah. So Jesus never overpowered the, the, the death. So, he had to seek help from someone else. So. So he never overpowered death. Yeah. So he, he just said he overpowered death. No, no. I'm saying he he obviously did have the victory over death. 
No, but not by himself. He had to seek uh, what, someone else. What do you mean not by himself? Because according to the Bible, the Father, he's the one who brought him back to life. According to the Bible. So victory, no. don't say I had a victory over something. People say, yeah. no, it wasn't you. You had to seek help from someone yeah, else. The, no, no. Death had no power over him. Did he die, according to you? Yeah. So the, the, de so, the death overpowered Jesus, correct? And then he rose again. But the, so he, there was no, no, a very step by short... Step. No, but most, step by step. most people die and that's it. No, step by step. But he died and overcame. Step by step. Okay. Did he so die? that it took three days is not really the point. Okay. The point is that he overcame. Did he die? Yeah. So it, death overpowered him then? Regardless, if yeah. two hours, five hours, death still overpowered him. Yeah. Like now, if him, if a France... He laid, no, he, no, he, 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 now, to understand each other he, very he, well. Yeah. He, he laid down his life. So yes, he let death overpower him for that time and then he so rose again. So he committed again. suicide? Huh? You commit suicide? He, um, I would, I would think that he, uh, he could have prevented it, yeah. So you commit suicide? Probably, that's the way to oh. say it, yeah. Oh but uh, but yeah. no, yeah, he so didn't. No, then. he didn't kill him. So, he didn't. That, then, no, no, so he Isis, didn't. They're very no, happy no. To take Su Su suicide means you kill yourself. Yeah, so he okay. allowed himself to be killed. He allowed himself to be killed. It's different yeah, from so killing yourself. So he could control yourself. it. Huh? Like now, I know yeah. that if I drink poison, I can be, I can die. Yeah. So me taking it and allowing myself to die, I'm committing. Yeah, then you're allowing yourself. Allowing yeah, myself. Okay. Jesus Fair allowed enough. himself. He was able to stop yeah. it without any doubt, yeah. according to you, by allowing himself to be killed. So he committed suicide. But let us go back to the main point. According to the Bible, according to the Christians, as Paul said, Jesus came to die for your sins. But you just told me justice to give everyone what he deserves. No, no, so my question, did Jesus me, deserve to be... Hear me out, hear me out. Yeah. Let's understand that very well. We go home, we reflect upon it. What, 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 I wanna, what I want to do here, don't just debate for the sake of debating. We don't, don't debate because I just want to fight back the, the, the argument. No, if the argument is so clear, then step back and say, no, what should I see? Let me think about it, let me go home. Because it doesn't make any sense to me telling me just to give everyone what he deserves, but yet you believe that Jesus did not deserve to be killed, but he was killed for someone else's sins. Doesn't make any sense. You know what Allah said in the Quran? Doesn't make any Allah, sense. Him, Allah said in the Quran. I'm, I'm Every thinking. person. No, 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 be, be, because you are, you are, but yeah, yeah, but you, you're missing a, you're missing a connection. There is no connection. No, no, you're missing. There is a, no Wi-Fi here. Hold on, hold on. You're missing a connection. What is the connection between sin and death? Okay. No, forget That's about the connection. But you are missing Jesus, the connection. According to Paul, Jesus came to death for his sins or not? No, no, no. In general, you are missing the connection between sin and death in this case. I'm not talking about death because and raining. Not no, no. really, but it's not, holding, it's then? a nice umbrella anyway. You like your umbrella? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you should say it. It. Nice it makes it feel warm as well. It makes it feel warm as well. But I'm not talking about death and a sin. I'm talking about according if to you, you, Jesus came to die for the sins. No, no, if you want to talk about sin, we have to look at what exactly is sin. It's not just walking through the red sin light. To do, sin. So sin. sin is... Go on, no, you sin. Sin is disobedience to God. Intentional and intentionally. Yeah, but basically that's what it is. So it's very good. Yeah. So if you know, especially if God tells you to do something and you do something, you not to do something and you do it. Oh, yes, that's so good. Uh, good. That, that's what we call sin. So rebellion against God. You Did know? Jesus commit sin? No. So why no. he died for sins? So he had no reason to die, did he? That's what I'm saying. So he killed him. He died for someone else's sins. He never committed sin, but, and he was killed yeah, for yeah. sins. That's why we tell you, listen, all Christians, all people of the book. Leave this and come to Islam. Worship, so, but, but, worship one God. And if you commit sin, you should be responsible for it. You keep talking about Hitler and Stalin. Or no, no, to I, you use, if Hitler, I use them as example to no, say no, about justice. According to you, if Hitler believed Jesus is savior, he would be what? In paradise. And let me ask you, does God hate Hitler? Huh? Does, does God, God hate Hitler? Hitler? Um, I only use Hitler and Stalin as example to say about Thank you justice. Does okay? God hate Hitler? But does God hate Hitler? Yes. I would think so, yeah. But you believe God loves everyone? No, I believe. Uh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I believe God's love goes out to people, but if we don't want God's love, He doesn't force us to accept it. And from Hitler's life, from so what I know, you want God's love? from from what I know about Hitler's and Stalin's life, there was no love in their life at all. He, so they did not accept the love of God. The, so the love the of God. So the love of God goes so out to you, people yeah. because love goes out to people. That's okay. what it does. But if you don't accept it. You don't have to accept it. You this can. Is the first time I come across a Christian who believes God does not love, love everyone. Because I was speaking to Paper Boy. No, no, I'm saying. Even there was a, an, an English brother who became Muslim. He was surprised that Paper Boy he couldn't answer. Does God love no, Hitler? No, no, but the... even does God love Satan? 
There's a question no, the, the love of God goes out to people because that's the nature of love. So how how can you gain God's love? Hey, yeah, yeah. How can you how can you gain God's love? How can you gain God's love? Yeah. How can you? Is how it by killing people or being by how, being good? How can you ever gain God's love? God's love is as vast as the ocean. How can you gain it? So you're God loves everyone then. No, no, it's, you're important. You're unable to. Let me gain. make it clear oh, to you. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Yeah, you on. can accept it. You can't gain it. No, no, meaning, so meaning. Okay. Imagine I'm start killing every person and doing all type of evil. And mm -hmm. do you think by me doing these actions, evil actions, am I gaining God's love? Would God love me because I'm doing so this? The, the evil is not an expression of God's love, is it? That's what I'm saying. So, so in order for me to get God's love, I have to do good things, correct? No. If you understand that God loves you. Even if I'm evil? No. no killing innocent people, children. If you understand that God loves you, you will stop doing evil. Because why would you do evil if you know that God loves you? That's what if I'm saying. You know, so if, you know, if, if, you, if I still do evil, we still God love me. If you know God loves you and God loves me, why would you steal my stuff? Because you're actually stealing from somebody that God loves. I understand so this point. Understanding this point okay. that God, lo God still, loves you. If I still carry on doing evil, would God love me? If you carry on doing evil, you are showing that you do not understand that God loves you. Thank you very much. But would God love me? That's my question. His love is still there, but you've walked away from it. So God still loves you, even you are evil. No, no. Love God, like a parent can love their children. The children can walk away from the parents and be nasty and whatever they want. Okay, I understand that. But would God still love me if I was still evil? I'm explaining to you. No, but you're not answering my question. If you can notice, God, you no. are God. very technical. No. Would God, it's simple. Would God love me if I'm still doing evil? Yes or no? The things you do, he de obviously doesn't love evil, is it? He doesn't love the action. Would he love me? So it's a strange question you ask. No, if it's I, not. It's no, simple it's question. Strange Everyone question. can notice. Would it God is, still love me if I'm still doing evil? No, God doesn't love evil, does he? Huh? I understand that. Happen. I'm not talking about action. I'm talking about the doer. Yeah. Would huh? God love me if I'm still doing evil? Yes or no? Or so I don't if know. You, if you're doing evil, yeah. then you prove that you're not in the love of God. So God doesn't you're love not, me. That's what I understand from you. No. God hasn't changed his mind. But you have decided you're not, you're not going to care about it. So but I'm asking you, if I carry on doing evil, no, I, forget about me, I don't care about... Imagine I said, okay, for the sake of argument, yeah? yeah? Imagine I said, I don't care about God's love. I'm kind to do evil. Would God still love me? You've made up your mind. You don't care about God's love. Okay, would God still love me according to you? His love is still there. Because so he hasn't changed his let mind. Me, but let me misquote you. You've so made up your mind you, as well. Hey, God still love Hitler and, and Stalin. But they've made up their mind. There is no way back. There's no okay, way back. There's two, two here. There's God. There's one side is God, yeah. and the other side Hitler and Stalin. Hitler and Stalin, they don't care about God's love. Okay, we understand that. Yeah. But you, according to you, God still love them. God is still love. And not God still but love, he doesn't he still love them. But what about them? Huh? What What do you mean God loves them? What I mean is it English do you mean he term? loves what they look like, or do, do you mean he loves what they do? Them. Do does he love them? No, obviously, everything they've done is evil. Forget about the action. Does he love so, Hitler and Stalin? In Islam, course, well, God hates Stalin and, and yeah, Hitler. Yeah, yeah, okay. So clear. That's exactly... That's why we say ISIS are the followers of Hitler and Stalin. They're not followers of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Simple. Why? That's no, why... Why do you say respect. in Islam? I can't even Christians so for long. Do you know why? Why not? You ask them, what is your name? He tell you, my father was born in China. Then my mother, she was, she was working in uh, Northern Gate. Uh, you're, you're taking off now, isn't it? No, seriously. You're just, you're Everyone cannot even answer weird. my question. Come on, Simple, chill ask out. a Muslim. Does God love Hitler, no. Yeah, yeah, but you're going on. But it's God you, merciful. You, yes, it's merciful. You go, if you are ignorant you're going off on and you don't know what you're doing, on, and you out. repent to God, then God will forgive you. Come on, chill out. Don't don't go off on one. I'm not going off, man. What's your name again? Chris. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. You, I'm Chris. You can I'm remember. Chris. It's easy to remember. So no, so you know. So God, God's love goes out to people. But if you don't want it, we don't have to accept it. I understand that's that, it. but still God loves so you. If, so in that sense, they have the freedom. They have not accepted so it. So, that's so it. Satan never accepts God's love, but God still loves him? Obviously he hasn't. No, no. I, I understand. Satan doesn't care about God's love, yeah, I but God, okay. does he still love him? Hold on. I, I know Is about... Is it just me or just... He's no, no, no. Uh, Satan... God loves Satan. Yeah, that's, I'm trying to answer. Yes or no will suffice. No, no, it won't, actually. It's not, that, it's not that simple. It is. Ask me, ask me. Does God love Satan? No, he doesn't love Satan. He hates Satan. Well, but I'm talking about, we were talking about, does God love people? 
Suddenly, no, Satan, I'm gonna, I'm suddenly you talk about Satan. Scenario, no, you talk about Christians. They have no leg to stand on. You talk about Satan as if he's a man. Well, he isn't. So huh? you talk about something different now. Say it again? You talk about Satan as if he is a man, I but he isn't. So. so we were talking about does God love people? No, okay. I'm talking now you people. jump to does God love no, I'm Satan? I'm going to show you so that Does God, God love the fallen angels? We will phrase it. Huh? Yeah. Chris, this is here, become a Muslim. I know this doesn't make any sense to you. No, it doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't make any sense. We're lying. I know that we're lying, man. Wallah, Allah said, Now it's talking about it. So what? All people of the book, come to one word. Between us and you, that you should not worship no I one thought, besides I Allah. I told you to come to people to the book to investigate if you don't no, get Allah it. No, Allah never told me. No, Allah okay. in the Quran. I know I've the heard that from Jay Smith. No, no, the, uh, Jay Smith is the biggest liar. Oh. You know what I'm saying, Chris? <laughs> but it's good to ask this question. Allah mentioned the Quran. It's so it's uh, an yeah, uh, yeah, Let me hear me. Let me no, make no, it no, like But can I ask the question clearly? No. The same question. I, there no, is no, something. No, 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 there wait, is something. No, no, no. You mean you mentioned something? Let me clarify. Because we don't want to let it go which, without clarification. Which, which, which is about you Christians keep saying that Muslim Allah tell you to go back to the people of the book. Yeah, Allah would say that. Which like book? Let me hear me out. Which Allah book? Which people? Me out. Yeah, we're yeah, going to explain I'm, that. I'm trying to in focus it. Ambiya, there's a verse. Allah subhanahu wa taala in that verse said, "وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ إِلَّا رِجَالًا نُوحِ إِلَيْهِمْ فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرِ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ." This verse, Allah addressing the Arab pagans, not the Muslims. Allah telling the Arab pagans, because you're not familiar, that Allah choose human beings as his messengers, then go ask people of the book. Because the people of the book are familiar with that. That Allah chose many times prophets and messengers from Bani Adam, son of Adam. Okay? That's one. The other okay. verse which you are referring to so is in Surat Yunus. Huh? People of the book. You know, that's, that doesn't mean they're Christians all the time. Sometimes no, can be the Christians. There's lots of books. No, that's why I'm asking. No, no, what do you mean? Book. People of the book mean Christians and the Jews. Okay? But there's other books as well, isn't it? No, no, so no, no, no that's the one that Allah mentioned all the time. Uh, it's uh, Torah and Injil. Only those. There's the other one. Only those two. No, I'm saying that that's the one, the Christians and the Jews, Allah referring yeah, to. I'm asking uh, you yeah, for, to clarify Yeah, the Jews and the Christians, yeah. Okay. So, when Allah mentioned people of the book, not all the time it's referred to the Jews, not all the time it's referred to the Christians. Sometimes can be both, sometimes can be one of them, okay? Another verse you are referring to in Surah Yunus. فَإِن كُنْتَ فِي رَيْبٍ مِّمَّا أَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ فَاسْأَلَ الَّذِينَ يَقْرَأُونَ الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ If you are in doubt, yeah, what we have revealed to you, then ask the people of the scripture who we have revealed to them before you, okay? This verse, if all of us understand it correctly, this verse, as in many scholars, Ibn al-Qayyim, one of them, may Allah have mercy upon him, Allah is Allah saying, for the sake of argument, that will never happen, but if it ever happened, go tell them, ask them, is it in there or not? Likewise, if you doubt, I'm here, yeah? No, no, no. It's right. no, never come to talk to me. Do you know why? Because well, that is... A lot of people doubt no, no, sometimes. No, 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 come no, on, no, be no, honest. Muhammad. But hear me out, Muhammad. You Another doubt one. as well sometimes. Come on. And hear me out. The other one, explanation, that this from the Arabic uh, way to emphasize something. For example, Chris, if I want to show you that I'm one known in London, which I'm not, yes? But for the sake of argument. Not yet. If I show you that I'm one known in London, you know what I said to you? Ask the trees about me. The tree doesn't speak. So why I'm saying that? Because I want to emphasize that I'm one known. You're being you poetic, see? yeah? Yes, I'm sure That's what we call poetry. No, no, no. This is an, an English just... term. But in Arabic yeah. term, called emphasizing something. You understand? So Allah never tells us just copy of the book. You understand that? All right. Can shall, I ask shall, you something? Shall we leave it here? No, no. no I'll, I'll ask you something, Chris. Okay. Go. Look. Not too complicated. No, please. no. Simple one, Chris. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Moses. Abraham. Noah. Jacob. Isaac. Daniel. Jeremiah, you name them. All of them came with the teaching God is not a man. They are, you, are you aware? There's a book of Numbers, page 23, verse 19. God yeah. is not a man that should change his mind. Christians say no, it's something else. But there is clearer than that in Hosea. So, hold on. In Hosea says, I the Lord am not a man. Yeah, okay. So according to the according to the to the Old Testament prophets and messengers, according to them, is a God is God a man? According, the, the, all the prophets came with one message, that the Messiah was coming. Thank you very much okay. for asking the question. Asked. And so, hold on, exactly. Yeah. Because you like to ask questions that, that don't make sense. I'm saying, no, the they, they didn't come to say, they didn't come, you said all the prophets came with one message, that God is not a man. Yes. That's not true. That is true. They came with one message, that the Messiah is coming. Okay. So, in Jesus, the Messiah has come. 
Okay, that's and yet the Messiah is a man. Okay, let me exactly. Ask. So the, the Prophet, the messengers after so, Messiah, Moses, yeah. came to fulfill which law? Sorry? After Moses, which law they came to fulfill? The prophets and messengers? There's the only one law of Moses. Mo okay. okay. So according to Mosaic law, is yeah. it God a man or not a man? Um, according to the law of Moses? Yeah. What did you ask? According yes. to Mosaic law, yeah. is God a man or not a man? Oh, according to Mosaic law, of uh, the revelation that Moses gave is that God, God spoke to him, not as a man. No, it, like yeah, in Hosea it says, I the Lord, I'm not a man. Oh, you talk about the prophet Hosea? Yeah. yeah he okay. said, I the Lord, I'm not a man. Yeah, okay. Book of Numbers, which is the Torah, uh, he said... I agree with that, God is not okay. a man. Okay, All God right. is not a man. All right. But according to Christians, that God is a man. And uh, God was a man and God at the same time. Yeah. According hold to what Muhammad, hold on, watch this, yeah? Watch this, Ikhwa. And hold the on. viewers as well, everyone, according to okay. you. So let me finish my point. Yeah. I will yeah. let you speak. Okay. So, according, to the, so according to, the, to, the, to the prophets and the messengers of the Old Testament, God is not a man. Then the Christians comes in, comes in now. According to them, God is a man and a God at the same time. Then who comes after? Prophet Muhammad. God is not a man. Logic dictates Prophet Muhammad is going in line with the Old Testament prophets. The one that is opposing the old prophets, uh, the prophets of the Old Testament, the churches. Okay? Uh, Subhanallah. And they say, they say Prophet Muhammad came with the wrong teaching. How dare you can you say that? How dare you? I didn't say anything about the teaching of Muhammad, Muhammad today. Muhammad came with the, but, with the correct yeah, teaching. It is, the wrong teaching. One God. it is the wrong teaching. God is not a man. But the matter is, who is Jesus? No, no. That's the another question. Is that that's, really, that's really what you're talking about. Who then is Jesus? So I will come to that Jesus. Okay. The, the other but thing, sorry. The other thing I want to ask you. I don't know. You believe God already, became a man? We've already talked for about half an hour. No, no. I think it's I, enough. I, no, one thing, one thing. One Catch thing, me next week. No, no, Let please. Me talk one, about, one, no, one thing. Then we'll talk about no, no, who is Jesus. One thing. I, okay. Explain to me. I will let you explain. Yeah? You know, in the Bible, you believe God became a man. I believe the word came. Jesus is the word. The word became flesh and dwelt among us. I understand that. Yeah? So is the word God or not? The word of God comes from God, proceeds from God. Yeah. So when you when you speak, is your word the same as you? No, the same as no, me. But it comes from you. Yeah, it's actually. If you are truthful and honest, your word is a, a representation of who you are or what you think. If you're a liar, it doesn't. It disconnects. But the word doesn't exist by itself. My so, words. So the word proceeds from God. So, so, so let sense. me understand you very well. Yeah. So according to but you, I, God uh, never became honest, a man. To be honest, I would like to talk about that another time because right. we've already had a long conversation. Uh, no problem, it's good. Because that's we true. Can't, we if talked you, about, if you have a long video, no, no, we talked sure. about sin and forgiveness. And if we want to talk about the Trinity or who Jesus is, Chris, let's do it another time. Pray to God yeah. of Abraham to guide you the truth. <laughs> pray. Yes, man. Yeah, pray. Yes, right, yes, pray. Yes, yes. Even me, I will pray, inshallah, to God of Abraham to guide us the truth. Pray like Jesus prayed. Yeah, Father, yeah. I don't know about it. Jesus prayed that. That's a Greek. Oh, you don't Jesus prayed in, in, in Syriac. So you have to prove to me Jesus said that in Syriac. You cannot prove it. I have to learn Syriac. Well. That's what I'm saying. So, you know, lost in translation. We need to talk. That's why the beauty of the Quran, we have the origin uh, language. Anyway, Chris, look after yourself, yeah? No hard feeling, yeah?